In this second part of the course, we're actually going to look at how you're going to be developing with SharePoint, the different types of projects that you'll be looking at, and then how each of those tools that we talked about fit into that development process. We're going to walk through an example of each of the different types of SharePoint development projects, workflow, SharePoint apps, and solutions, and put together a sample one in each of the tools that you looked at. Once we go through this, then we'll actually do some examples of deployment, both on-site and in the cloud, and then kind of wrap everything up with a summary of the concepts, tie the theoretical side of the first part of the course with the practical side of the second, and hopefully give you a good solid background to go forth and do your own SharePoint deployments.